Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. We are back here for another week and we're sliding through February pretty fast, <laughs> in my opinion. Hope you had a great weekend and you got to do something fun and you looked after yourself for your health and, <coughs> health and wellness and um, didn't fall too far off track. Today's live workout, we are gonna be focusing on our core strength. Now, a lot of people feel like when they wanna get their core strength up, they need to sit there and do 100, 100 sit-ups or something like that, uh, which certainly isn't the case. So today I'm gonna to show you through some core exercises that you can do that have nothing to do with sit-ups. So it will give you some inspiration, some ideas on what you can do. Now, sit-ups are one of those things that if they're not done correctly, you can definitely end up with a sore neck or if you have back problems, this may be quite difficult for you as well. So I'm gonna show you through some alternate exercises that you can do to build your core strength without a single push-up in this 15-minute express workout. So same format as what we normally complete, uh, 45 seconds on, 15 second rest. I've got five different exercises to show you and we're gonna do three rounds. So we're gonna keep it nice and quick, in and done for the day. Now, if you really wanna maximize this workout, do it twice. I really recommend exercising for 30 minutes if you can, uh, just to reap those benefits of your mental health as well as your physical health as well, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn the music up. I'm gonna get my timer started. Um, you can do this workout without any equipment if you prefer. Uh, that's certainly an option if you would like to do it without. If not, just one dumbbell is all you'll need. Just one dumbbell that's a little bit heavier, um, just for a bit more of a challenge. All right, timer is going on. 45 seconds to start. We're starting standing up, so make sure that you've warmed up before you get started. All right, our timer is going. So we're starting with a standing bike crunch. So we're going to be twisting across our core, just bringing our elbow to our knee, just as close as you can. Doesn't matter if you can't exactly reach. Going across your body, ensuring that even though your hands are up near your ears, you don't want to be pulling on your neck or anything like this. We want to be standing nice and straight. Shoulders up tall, crossing across your body. Bring that knee into that elbow. All the way, we've got 10 more seconds to go. Breathe. Keep your focus. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, next we're going down into a high plank with a shoulder tap. So out on your toes if you can. Come down to your knees if you need to. Hands and shoulders in alignment. Out into that plank, tapping your shoulder, hand back down to the ground, switching sides. Pull your tummy in really nice and tight. And what we want to avoid is we don't want to be turning while we're doing this plank. We want to be standing really nice and still and just isolating that movement through our arms, keeping our body really nice and straight. So bring that tummy in. Keep that plank nice and strong, tapping side to side. And if you need to, of course, coming down onto your knees, same thing. And rest. Now our next exercise, we're going over onto our back, lying down. We're gonna be doing some leg raises. And depending on your fitness level, which variation you'd like to do, so if you're really new to this or have a really weak core, legs bent, taking one at a time, extending out nice and long. If you're feeling a little bit more confident with your exercises, legs up nice and straight, taking one at a time again, breathing through it. Back nice and flat to the floor, hold your hands underneath your bottom for support. Now, if your core strength is quite good, try doing both legs at the same time. Nice and control, up and down. And you can even make this harder by 
removing your hands out to the side and rest. All right, we're going into our side abs now. Grab a heavier weight. I've got an eight kilo dumbbell here. So standing, feet hip width apart, tummy on nice and tight, one arm up, with other arm with our dumbbell, leaning down to the side, coming back up. Breathe. We're going to be doing this for the whole interval and the next interval we're gonna switch sides, okay? So you wanna be keeping your tummy on really nice and tight. We're standing up straight, looking forward, taking that dumbbell, let that slide down the side as far as you can go, comfortably bring it back up. You should be feeling this all the way through the side of your tummy. And rest. Let's switch sides. So I'm using an eight kilo kettlebell for this. Kettlebell, dumbbell. It's Monday. I went to bed too late last night. All right, here we go. I was getting so focused into the zone setting up my week ahead that I stayed up a little bit past my bedtime. Breathe. So letting that dumbbell slide all the way down, coming back to standing neutral. Now you don't need to overcompensate by going too far the other way. Just come back to standing up straight, okay? Down and up. You can do this exercise without any weight as well. So if you didn't have dumbbells on hand, you just do exactly the same thing without the weight, okay? And rest. All right, round one done already. How nice and quick was that? Let's go back to the top. We're starting with that standing bike crunch. So if you can, add a little bit of pace into this and this is gonna really help get your heart rate up too. So crossing across your body. Remember, we're not holding onto our neck here. We're just holding our hands up beside our ears. We're standing up nice and tall. We're just twisting side to side. Breathe. Strong focus. All the way to the end. We don't stop before the end of our timer, not that first bit, the last one. Keep it going, working at your pace. Five more seconds. And rest, nice. All right, we're back to those shoulder taps. So taking your option, whether you need to go down onto your knees or you're up on your toes. Nice and straight. Your arms and shoulders in alignment. Keep that plank low. Tap your shoulder, come back down. Other side. Really switch that tummy on tight. Now obviously this one is burning your shoulders and your core. Doubling up. Taking it at your pace. Remembering to stay nice and straight into that plank. Tapping side to side. Breathe. Hold your tummy in. Five more seconds. And rest. Whew, that's a hard exercise. All right, let's go back to our leg raises. Remembering which modification you're most comfortable with. Beginners, start with your knees bent, taking one leg out, extending nice and long. You can even take this down a little bit by keeping your leg bent as opposed to straightening it if you need to. More advanced options, straighten out those legs. Keep your hands underneath you for support. And if you can, taking both legs down at the same time, control it. Stay nice and strong. Big deep breaths. Don't rush through it. 
and rest. Nice. Okay, we're back to our side of standing abs. Doesn't matter which side to do first. We're doing them both anyway. Feet hip width apart. Turn your tummy on nice and strong. Hand up behind your ear and the arm with the dumbbell slides down the side of your leg. So keep that really nice and close to your leg. Breathe. You don't need to look down at the weight or anything like that. Keep a nice neutral point where you're looking forward. Staying nice and focused. We don't need to overcompensate by pulling all the way over this side. You may end up with a slightly sore back if you do that because you're overstraining. You'll feel it into here. So just staying nice and neutral. Come back to centre. It's as far as you need to go. And rest. All right, other side. Grab a drink whenever you need to. It's important to stay hydrated throughout your workout. Hand up. Let's go. Down and up. Big deep breaths. Working at your pace. All the way to the end. Good job. We're halfway. Now, if you didn't have a dumbbell on hand, there's plenty of other things that you could use instead of, you could use a kettlebell if you've got a kettlebell. If you had something just really heavy that has a handle, a bucket, a detergent bottle, anything like that, you can use to give you the same effect. And rest. All right, round two done. We've got one more round to go. Let's get back into that standing bike crunch. Ready? Let's go, hands up, crossing over. So we're standing nice and tall, keeping our core nice and strong. And we're really just bringing our knee in to our elbow, okay? So we're really staying nice and central through our core. And it's just our elbow and our knee that is giving the movement. Be holding your core on nice and tight. We're almost there. Breathe. 10 more seconds. So if you try to do bike crunches lying down, you're like, oh, this is so painful in my neck. Try them standing up. It's a really big difference. And rest, good job. All right, we're coming back down to that plank with our shoulder tap next. Setting yourself up. Hands and shoulders in alignment. Legs out nice and straight or onto your knees. Tapping your shoulder, hand back to the ground. Switching sides. Remembering not to swing through the hips. We're not turning this into a side plank type movement. Stay nice and still. Breathe. Feel that burn all the way through your core, into your shoulders, keeping your back nice and flat. We've got 10 more seconds. We're almost there. And rest. Okay, we're back over for those leg raises. One more time. Okay, hands underneath your bottom for support. Legs up nice and straight. Legs down, together, and bring them back up. Working at your pace. Don't wanna rush through these exercises. Really engage your core. So the slower you move, the more your tummy is working the whole entire time. Breathe. Stay nice and focused. We're almost there. Keep it going.
and rest. Good job. All right, two more intervals to go. Went through those side abs. How quick has this exercise workout gone? All right, hand up. Bring that dumbbell down the side of your legs, back to center. So you're standing with your feet hip width apart, tummy on nice and strong, breathing through it. We're back to Monday. Let's get that energy flowing. Start feeling good about the week ahead. Big deep breaths. Keep it going at your pace. 10 seconds to go. Five more. And rest, nice. All right, let's switch sides. Feet hip width apart. Pull your tummy on nice and tight. Hand up behind your ear. And let's go. Sliding down. Bring it back up. All the way down. So you can see I'm standing nice and straight. Looking forward. Don't need to look down. Don't need to see what's going on anywhere. Just look forward. Slide that dumbbell down. Bring it back up. Really turn that tummy on nice and tight. We're almost at the end. We've got 15 more seconds and we're all finished. Breathe. 10 more. Five to go. And time. Well done, team. That quick and easy. 15 minute workout. Everyone has 15 minutes, right? If you tell me you don't have 15 minutes, I'm gonna tell you that you're really not telling me the truth. <laughs> and I'm sure if I checked your phone on your usage status, I could easily see where you could claw back 15 minutes of my time, of my time, of your time, so you can get an exercise done, right? So we all get stuck in that scroll on social media. Um, you know, it's just about coming up with your priorities and what you really want to do for yourself. Now this week, we are talking all about macros and food tracking. Uh, what are carbs? What is protein? What are fats? And breaking that down into a really easy way for you to understand how you could look at doing food tracking if this is something of interest to you. Now, um, the best platform I recommend is MyFitnessPal simply because it just has the best free functionality for you to use. So I'm gonna go through all of my tips on how to set up MyFitnessPal to help you achieve your goals, how to work out the percentages or the values of those fats, proteins and carbs uh, that we want to know, but we're a little bit unsure about how this actually can work for us. So I'm gonna be talking all about that uh, on our webinar tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Tuesday. Every week we set up a new topic. So this week we're talking all about macros, all about fats, carbs and protein. So if you're interested to learn more about that, feel free to jump onto the webinar. I'm gonna pop a link uh, below this video once I've finished the live. I'm gonna pop in a link so you can pre-register. So I'll send you a reminder and you won't forget. Now these meetings are really uh, informal and casual. So come in your PJs. I know by eight o'clock at night, I'm normally in my PJs. So come in your PJs, bring your cuppa with you. Hopefully the kids are asleep and you can concentrate and just enjoy the information. Um, there is a replay, so if you're on the list and you miss the live, if you miss the Zoom call, uh, you definitely can catch a replay as well. So if that, if eight o'clock's not a good time for you, uh, please still register because then you will get a copy of the replay so you can watch it back when it suits. So have an awesome Monday, set your goals and get out there and start achieving them midway through February, school is well and truly back. It's time to get ourselves in check 
and looking after ourselves to live the life we want to live and hit the goals we really want to achieve. So if you need any help and support with your health and fitness needs, please feel free to reach out, for, out to me. I would be happy to give you a hand. Have an awesome Monday. And I got through a whole workout without kids. Yay, me. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs>